Today we're going to be making a totem pole. The supplies needed for this project are crayons, scissors, and construction paper. And again, for best results, we're using the construction paper crayons. Let's get started. To make the totem pole, we're going to cut a rectangular piece of paper. The size of the rectangle determines the height of the totem pole. After we get this cut, we're going to fold it in the middle like this. This will determine the height of the totem pole. We're going to make some slits in the totem pole so that we can put the wings through. And it doesn't matter if you get the slits a little small, you can always enlarge them. If they're a little large, that, that won't hurt either. It'll still work. So we cut two slits. Now the next thing we're going to do is fold the paper and we're going to make some wings. <clears throat> Start and, and the way to do this is to make a dot up here that we're going to cut to and a dot here and you notice that it's the width is different. We're going to go from here to here with a wavy line like this. We're cutting away from the fold, so we're going to cut on our lines. When we open it up, it looks like this. So that when both, when we open it up, it looks like this. So both will be just like. We will put this on our paper, and we'll cut another one exactly the same. Now, our totem pole is ready to decorate. We do this by using our crayons and we want to decorate this part. After we've done with our crayon work, we just pull this through. Pull this one through our slits. And this creates our totem pole. Thank you for being with us, and we hope you join us next time as we make a pilgrim hat. Today we're going to make a simple, fun pilgrim hat. And to do this, we're going to need two sheets of paper a white and a black. These sheets are 12 by 18. You lay the white on the bottom, the black on the top, and you fold back long ways. And you can just kind of use your own judgment as to how much to fold back. And then crease it. Pick it up and you're going to staple it in the bag. Now it's very important when you staple it that you leave this hole back here. Otherwise, it's too pointed. And you put one staple in it, or you could tape it. But this is the half, and it's finished. Thank you for joining us today.